What's going on folks? Uh, this isn't much of a repair video, just more of an informational video. If you've got one of these old Radio Shacks uh, MPA 40 amplifiers and it's not putting out, outputting any sound, uh, I believe Realistic made about the same thing in the 90s or early 2000s, late 80s through early 2000s. I believe they made one that was quite identical with this because Radio Shack and Realistic made, well, Realistic made a lot of stuff for Radio Shack. They just renamed it. And uh, it's most likely going to be this uh, audio driver I see, which is very difficult to see um, while it's inside the board. So this is pretty much what this video is based on. Because it is extremely hard to read this IC when it's mounted into the board where it's mounted at. And I'll show you right here. It is usually mounted. Oh, make sure I get in video here. Um, right here behind a bunch of capacitors where you can't read the chip. Yeah. So it makes it kind of difficult to uh, read the chip to see what you need before taking it out. Which is a pain because some of us want to order the part before we uh, take it apart so we don't lose the part. But uh, it's a pretty nice little amplifier. It's got a uh, audio um, impedance transformer uh, tap, tap, track. <laughs> uh, let, let me try that again. Uh, audio transformer tap for the impedance selection and that goes in off the audio bridge to the uh, audio output to the impedance uh, connections here and you got you know 70 volt 16 ohms 8 ohms 4 ohms and common ground and then you've got a phono and a uh, aux or CD switch right there and then you have the aux cd and the phono rca inputs right there and i'm not putting this back together till i get the part that i need and it's got a nice 12 volt uh input as well and it's a i'll get the details right there for you 20 watt 20 watt pa system and it uses 120 volts, AC, 60 hertz, 60 watts of input power, and a 1.2 amp fuse. That's a pretty chunky little kit, and uh, the power transformer is fairly robust as well. So, I'm not sure who makes this guy. Uh, no name brand, just a I and an E, which looks like a transformer whining but a lot of this is unlabeled pcbs in here but we'll get to the point uh, here is the part number that you're going to need it's a kec kia 6280h 12 pin zip and it's a 5.8 watt dual output or a 22 watt bridge tied load output, which is like one inverting, one non-inverting output, like a bridging, bridging amplifier kind of deal. And that is a Radio Shack MPA40 20 watt PA amplifier, which they kind of tricky there, it says 40, but it's a 20 watt output. Hmm. Go figure. Well, uh, once I get this in, I'll do you an update video on it. And uh, I most likely burn it up from running too many speakers on the wrong impedance for too many years. So don't make my mistake. Get the impedance right and do yourself a favor. All right, I hope that helps somebody out. Y'all have a great night. Peace.